Hey folks, welcome back to the garage. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm just going to be working away and I'll be voiceovering a lot of the conversation that we're talking about today. All we're doing is we're going to grind down all those spot welds that we did last time on Project Dale. So stay tuned. So a couple of the things that are going to be different besides me doing a lot of talking is I did manage to get a new flat disc I guess is what they call these things this one is a uh, 28 or 29 grit so it should grind down those welds a lot quicker than the other one that I have which I believe was a 60 so we'll get them rough down with this we'll put the other one on smooth it out so that's the plan tonight is just to get those welds grinded down and get ready for some body fill and then on the weekend, we are going to tackle the patch panel here for the rocker. As well as get rid of all of this on the cab corner. Once we get that done, well, then we'll be ready to put the body fill to it, get it primed, get it painted, and call that part of the project done. Then we'll get started on the lowering kit, which I know a lot of you guys are waiting for. So before we get into doing some work, the other thing is... I've been messing with some settings on the GoPro. I'm sure you probably noticed by now that the steady shot is on as well as the quality is a little bit better. I'm filming this in 2.7K as opposed to 1080. So you may find the clarity just that much more better. Anyways, we are going to start grinding and we're going to start talking about what's coming up in 2020. So all I wanted to do was talk to you guys about some goals and ambitions that I have set in place for 2020. Now at the end of 2019, I was sitting at 2,369 uh, subscribers with approximately 190,000 views. And it's simple math that I want to double up on that. I'd like to see by the end of 2020, 5,000 subscribers and 500,000 channel views. Now, that's all subject to, to change, but at the end of the day, 5,000 subscriber goal is not that far out of the realm. Because in order to do that, I've got to keep a couple of things in mind. One is I've got to stay consistent. I've got to keep doing something that people want to watch and keeping up with collaborations that, uh, that I've done in the past as well as some new ones coming up is kind of the segue into the second part of my goals. I want to do more collaborations. I want to reach out to other YouTube creators as well as some of my subscribers that want to reach out to me and be a part of the growing Old Car Auto Guy channel. Now the biggest one obviously is Grant Tommy. Now Grant and I have been collabing for a long time now on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. So one of my goals for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, if Grant's up for it as well, is to grow that and turn it into something that not just automotive guys are going to want to watch, but something that anybody who is interested in growing their channel is going to want to watch. Because that is what the Car Guy and Six Fan Show kind of is all about. It's about growing the YouTube automotive community. That collaboration with Grant is a must. I really want to continue that, and I'm sure Grant can speak to the same. Also, I want to make a trip again this year south. Um, last year we went to Pennsylvania to meet up with uh, such YouTubers as Send It Steve, Hammerdown Motorsports, Diablo Formula Racing, uh, as well as Matt MPG. And, you know, I want to kind of go in that same direction, but I also want to meet up with some other YouTubers, like-minded YouTubers, such as, you know, maybe even Dylan McCool, uh, who actually is down, I believe, in Alabama. Uh, Robbie Purser down at United by Trucks, who is in... Uh, the Marietta, Georgia area. That's a long drive, but you know what? I'm up for it. If I can get the time and I can make the effort, it's things like these, putting myself out there that's going to get my channel to grow. So I'm hoping to do more collabs. Also, as we move into 2020, a couple of things outside of the YouTube channel, kind of, that I want to be able to do is I want a slight rebrand of who I am and that's going to mean a slight name change now I 
did put it out to you guys on Instagram a while back on whether or not you'd like to see the name stay the same or a little bit of a change and seeing how we've changed the direction of the channel a little bit I do believe that it's right to move away from the old car auto part of the channel maybe it's just old car guy maybe it's old car garage maybe it's something totally different I don't know what that looks like yet so there's gonna be a slight name change and with that will come a channel logo you guys have seen some of the uh, sneak peeks of the new channel logo that I've been popping up on my videos and at the beginning of this one the other thing is is a clothing line uh, you guys know I end every video with the focus on the windshield mantra and focus means a lot more to me than just the words that come out of my mouth I want to create a clothing brand revolved around that word focus somehow and uh, create an entire brand not just one t-shirt or two but a little bit of everything that may appeal to even non car guy car gal type people who just want to uh, you know grasp a hold of that positive message that focus uh, means uh, for some of you guys who don't know I am a Christian so to me focus means that I'm a, I'm a follower of Christ and and I want people to know that uh, and I'm not afraid to admit it so having a clothing brand that uh, subtly tells that message is something that I want to focus on uh, for 2020. So that's really about it. I didn't set some huge amount of goals that are unrealistic. Uh, you know, the, the goals for the subscriber count and views, the more collaborations and growing the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. These are things I believe are truly going to happen on their own. The rebrand is something that I'm going to need your guys' help with. We will talk about it in later videos. Having said all that, it's time now to finish up the grinding and close out this video. So now that we get all that talking business out of the way, we'll finish up this video by talking a little bit about what went on here tonight. So as you saw uh, while I was talking, I was grinding away at all these welds and on the driver's side, I think everything looks good with the exception of this. Now I'm not sure if you can see it because of the reflection of the light, but right here where the light kind of gets diverted or refracted, there's a bump. It kind of bumps out towards this way a little bit. And so what we're going to end up having to do is take the hammer and kind of pound that in so it's indented. That way we can kind of get a good smooth surface to fill when we go to put some body fill on this side. And on the other side, well, the welding didn't prove to be as favorable can see here we got ourselves quite a mess going in this corner down here we still have quite a gap in those welds but I think we can come back and kind of fill those in with our little technique that we learned everything else is blended in pretty good to the point where I think that once we give it a skim of body fill it should be able to cover up most of the sin however all in all I'm pretty impressed with my first attempt at welding and spot welding and learning that new technique and uh, getting really really good at the grinder so <laughs> anyways uh, shouldn't be too many more episodes guys we're gonna get that driver's side rocker panel and cab corner done this weekend once we get that done I'm not even sure if I'm gonna film it uh, it just depends I mean you saw how I did it on the other side I may uh, show you the final product uh, and see if the welding skills got any better over there and then we're gonna come back and start doing body fill and paint once all of that is done the bodywork is done well except for the tailgate we still got to spray a tailgate to match the same color but anyways that's a uh, later on down the road maybe we won't even do that till spring but anyway I'm looking forward to getting started on this drop kit I know you guys are too so once we get the uh, paint and body work done on those sections over there and down here we'll be ready to roll with that and I am proud to announce that season three of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show starts this Thursday at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time. It will be over on Grant Tommy's page, who is Straight Six Fan. I'm going to put a link right here in the cards for you to go over, check out his channel, and subscribe to him so that when we go live on these Car Guy and Six Fan Shows, you're not going to want to miss a beat. Not to mention, Grant has a pretty cool channel himself, working on his 78 Ford Fairmont. Go over there, check him out. He's got lots to show, and I know that you'll really enjoy that. And as we end this video, one of the things that will not change in 2020 is me 
telling you to stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.